Well, first of all, welcome to Meadow Lane Thank and you. to Notts County. Just tell us a little bit about yourself and your, your, your distinguished career today. Oh, myself. <laughs> <laughs> distinguished. Um, yeah, d started off um, many, many years ago at Coventry um, and then after a few years there I moved to Birmingham. Um, I was at Birmingham for quite a long time. Uh, decided to move there and went to Arsenal. Um, then eventually went to went up north to Leeds. That's where I met Rick and Colin before. Um, and then unfortunately they didn't get into the WSL. Um, so then I moved again back to Birmingham. Um, and then more recently last season, Chelsea Ladies. You spent a, a long time at the very top of the game, I think it's fair to say. I was sort of researching, desperately trying not to use the word veteran, but you've... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> you've, you've certainly been in and around the game as it's grown, as a, as a, as a sport, I suppose, for the ladies and, and how it's developed. Yeah. And, I mean, it's, it really has come on leaps and bounds, hasn't it? Yeah, that's right. It's an exciting time to be involved in women's football, whether, you know, on or off the pitch, as a staff, as a player, for anyone involved. It really is an exciting time. Um, and, you know, the fact that I could come move to county, uh, be closer to home um, and still be involved in it is it, really exciting. I can't wait to get going. I think obviously only in the second season as Notts County but from what we've seen the signings that are made there's a real calibre of, of players that's been brought in and it's exciting times. Yeah I, th I think last season Notts County did really well there's a lot of adversity thrown at Notts County being injuries and different different things along the way and I think the way that the, the whole club ended the season in style with, with the momentum that they managed to gain and um, you know so different hard to beat and they really had a, from an outside looking in last season there was a really kind of a great team spirit and a togetherness that couldn't be unrivaled by anyone else so um, I think think that's really good I think that the players that were there last year will have to you know enforce that and bring that again this season there's some great youngsters already here um, and added with the fresh energy and enthusiasm from some of the new players to have that blend fingers crossed we'll all settle in and, and gel together and you know really start to build momentum going into the start of the season. Do you feel a slight way of responsibility on that, on bringing experience to it and how you sort of adapt into it and what you can bring to the to the squad as it were? Yeah, um, you know, I, I, I feel that's what I can bring. Um, I don't feel the responsibility, I think it just comes comes naturally. Um, and having worked with Rick and Colin before, you know, I know that they'll, you know, push me and, and kind of want me to do that. So, hope, you know, hopefully if any of the girls, you know, if they need my support in any way, I'll, I'll be there to, to give that on hand and, and hopefully it just naturally comes out and, and you know, try and bring my experience and what, and what I've learned in the past few years um, to help the team get where we want, where we want to be. And that's these next few weeks, I suppose, and just keeping it bubbling up, bubbling up, just getting it nicely to the boil for the start of the season. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's get to know each other um, as much as we can, um, seeing how everyone's worked. Because you know, at the end of the day, when people are happy and smiling, um, they're going to perform well, well themselves, and, and ultimately that's going to help the team. So hopefully, that's what we can do in the next couple of months. <laughs> As you say, we touched on sort of the calibre of player that we brought in, but what are your ambitions for the season ahead? Um, you know, well, number one is always to stay fit and healthy and happy. I think if, I think if those three things are, are achieved, then you know, who knows where the, where the team can get to and, and help everyone else do that do that at the, the same. Um, you know, the last few seasons I've been used to um, being in finals and, and competing, whether it's gone my way or not. <laughs> um, but you know, I certainly want to. Uh, you know, it's not. I'm not a person to kind of peter out a career. I've, you know, this is a conscious decision to come here, and I believe that with the staff, especially, um, and the players. Um, you know, we can certainly continue in that in that way. And for the fans to be excited about that. Yeah, yeah. You know, from an outside again, looking looking in um, from having played it last year, the, the support and the, the across the city, both the fans and you know the, the way this city loves loves sport. You know, it's absolutely brilliant, and to be supported like that, hopefully it can continue and we can push on.